Thank you, Mr. President. I want to thank my colleagues for supporting this important legislation to enshrine in our state's constitution the right to clean air, clean water, and a healthful environment. You know, in our state constitution, it's nearly 20,000 words in this constitution, yet you won't find anything dealing with the protection of water, with the protection of clean air. Yet there are protections for the right to assemble, uh, the right to get a divorce, even the right to play bingo, but yet not a single protection in our right to clean air, clean water, and a healthful environment. Look, we could either pay now or we'll be paying the cost later. And this constitutional amendment is about enshrining those rights so that generations to come, they will be inheriting an environment that's healthy. Uh, we, there's a saying, discipline weighs ounces, regret weighs tons. And that's what we have to do. We have to get real about what climate change is doing to our communities. And that if we don't start today by making sure that this is the first thing that we have to consider, not the profits, uh, not the ease of doing business, but the realities of what does this mean to our environment? What does this mean to our most precious asset, our air, our water? Then we're fooling ourselves. So this is a step in the direction to make sure that as we learn more, as laws do change, as they will, that we have a backstop. We have a protection in our Constitution to something that we know is so fundamental to the health of our, of our community, to our survival as, a, as human beings. We need to step up, protect it, and the best place to do that is in our state Constitution, particularly in a time when the federal government, unfortunately, is withdrawing us from the Paris Agreement, is slashing funding to the EPA. This is a way for us to stand up protect these rights and make sure that New York is showing us a way forward, showing other states a way forward on how to protect our environment. So I will be supporting this legislation. I want to thank my colleagues for doing the same. Thank you, Mr. President.